Welcome to the program Release Your Stress, Retrain Your Brain and Discover Inner Peace and Happiness. The program comes from the Eastern Wisdom and the Eastern Wisdom is 6,000 years old. Why I stress it, you should understand that 6,000 years old, we have 3,000 teachers and 3,000 texts and thousands of practices. Why we have thousands of practices, not one uniform practice? Because you are unique. And the program discovers that uniqueness of you. That is why we cannot follow the signs, because the signs duplicates. You can find the Ford car anywhere, everywhere. You can find the iPhone anywhere and everywhere. But do you find another you anywhere? You are unique. So that means the Eastern wisdom follows a different approach. Its manuals are different than the science. It does not mean that uh, science has to do nothing. I'm just complim science can complement these practices. But one thing to be very clear to understand why I always refer it is 6,000 years old tradition. Because this, how old is the science? 200? Maximum 200 years? Thousands of scientists, researchers, and it's a remarkable progress. So the same thing happened to this Eastern wisdom for the 6,000 years. There are thousands of teachers. They tested different practices. They laid down the principles. They discovered the principles that rules our inner space, not the outer space. Science rules the outer space. The Eastern wisdom rules the inner space. Where is this one? Where are you? You're okay? Okay. <laughs> so, so first thing that we should understand that we should <coughs> learn from our own experiences. And I learn everything. I had a good friend who had been with me for the last 15 years. I have been telling him, please, would you like to do this practice? And he was always complaining. Understand. Are you one of them? I'm not pointing anyone. You cannot be one of them. But I'm just giving an example. <laughs> For the last 15 years, he has been with me. And I told him that please do this practice. He did the practice one day, he forget it. No, my nostrils are blocked, you know, and then I have a lot of work to do. I'm always busy. You don't understand. I said, okay, why should I understand you? You should understand yourself. After 15 years, when he's developed an extreme anxiety, stress and the suffering, yesterday we were talking, and uh, after 15 years, he told me that now I have started doing the same practice that you gave me for the last one week, I feel very relaxed and calm. Just pay attention what happens to all of us. So outside we were just talking, you know, we are the seekers of peace and happiness, our seeking changes. I have to earn more money in order to get stressed. As a dividend, we get stressed. We don't organize the inner space. Continue to earn money. There is no problem. But inner space has to be organized. In order to organize that inner space, this program is one of the best programs. It what happens, and yesterday we started talking, you know, now my nostrils are clear, now I feel relaxed. <clears throat> So I said, how many days you have been practicing regularly for the last seven days? And then I reminded him that I gave you the same practices 15 years back. 
had you been doing this, the life would have changed. What is your priority in life? What is your priority in life? Is the priority I should live in peace and happiness 24 by 7? I was just talking to my friend. Do you live in peace and happiness? No, 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 no. no. And because we, our mind does not want to do, then what we say, oh, who lives in peace and happiness? Everybody is stressed. As if you are responsible for everyone. We cannot take even responsibility of our spouse at home and kids. You have to be very tough on yourself. Keep that goal very clear that can I live in peace here and now, at work, at home, in relationship, the life changes. The science doesn't tell you. Eastern wisdom starts with that principle. What is the first point? Simplest thing. Go home and think of it. Contemplate. And when you come back, let me know whether you have really contemplated. A simple phrase. I'm using, which gives you stress when the mind works on you, which gives you peace when you work on the mind. Simple. And meditation guides you, gives you that tremendous experience that you can work on the mind. If I'm speaking wrong, just inter interrupt. Let me know. So the Master teaches that I have to work on my mind. When mind works on you, then what happens? The mind works with the likes, dislikes, hatred, love, pain, pleasure, profit, loss. This is the way the mind works on us. Maybe you'll go outside, or be your guy, talks too much, you know, doesn't do. The mind is working. <laughs> now I have to work on my mind. What is the first principle? Can you guess? So I have to contemplate and think and reflect what is good for me. If I blame Alex for anything, is it really good for me? Let me drop it. So simple. Same thing happens at home. Same thing happens at home. Honey, you don't understand. You know, I need to, you know, you don't want to change. Did you marry to change him or her? The mind is working on you. What should I do? I should change my this is what the meditation teaches us. Are you getting it? Am I wrong? But in order to bring about that change in our life, the mind has accumulated millions of impressions and it instantly blames and reacts. In order to change that, we have to go by the different steps and the first step of this program is almost you move into the state of mindfulness within five to six minutes. Then the second step will be, we will help the mind to release the energy from the unconsciousness that causes this blame and reaction. We wake up in the morning, uh, sun, why you rise? I should have slept a little more. We have no reason, but still we come. My body is not, you know, I feel tired. We never ask. I slept for 10 hours and I'm still tired. What is the reason? So what is the reason? Mind is working on you. Simple. Pick up one principle. And once you pick up the principle and then you contemplate and you work on it, the life changes. The third step will be uh, the harmonizing, 
the body, breath, brain, and the mind. And that is where the neuroscientists have, for the last three decades, have been understanding what they are understanding. First point, the brain can change its structure and function for good over life. By regular practice of meditation, the brain changes the structure and the function. So what is going to happen? Your responses are going to change in relationship to the external life with your spouse. You know that uh, women, beautiful women didn't come and she was uh, whispering in my ears. You know, I've been doing it for the last couple of months, you know. My honey was saying that, how come you remain so calm? That is the influence you give to the other. You need not to teach and educate others. You just continue the journey. Don't become a teacher to your honey or to your, to your uh, siblings or to your friends or to your kids. No, you change. That is the criteria. When you are ready to change, the life changes inside and then you realize that oh peace is coming from inside the last thing before just before this session i was giving a lesson and then we'll start and the last point will be the actual meditation can we enter into the real meditative state from the beginning no why no we come you know in the midst of the life we have a lot of challenges we experience in our relationship blame reaction stress anxiety are there so that is why i combine and i customize these programs i remember my masters teaching me a couple came to him and asked him to, so my master said okay you husband you go inside first let me listen to your wife the wife started complaining about her husband. I said, okay, I have understood. I'll take care of it. Now you go inside and you come. So what about your husband? The husband also started complaining to about against her wife. Now he said, okay, you both come together. And he looked into their eyes. He, he said, you both are beggars. You will never be in peace and happiness. Why? Because you are seeking peace and happiness from each other. Whereas the happiness is within you. Once this understanding is very clear in your head, what will happen? You will stop blaming and complaining. And you'll start working on the mind. No. I know, maybe a couple of you might be thinking, oh, you don't understand. How crazy is the other person? That's why I'm complaining. It takes time to, when you practice, when you raise your awareness, when you live into that state of the peace, the life changes. Choice is yours, not mine. Let us start. Sit or lie down, close your eyes. Sit or lie down and close your eyes, whatever is most comfortable, because it is going to be 40 minutes, so therefore it is good to find the best posture. If you cannot sit for a longer period, it is good to lie down. No issue. Don't, uh, carry, don't get carried away. Don't get carried away by unwanted and unnecessary rules. You might have heard, oh, meditation has to be done while sitting. And after five minutes, you experience the pain then it doesn't become a happiness meditation, it becomes a pain meditation. So I recommend you don't do that. So eyes are closed, your hands are facing up near the thighs if you're lying down and if you're sitting, you keep your, put your hands on the, if you're sitting, so you can keep your hands on the knees. <clears throat> first step I told you, first has three points and it will take you, uh, it will take your mind within and you'll have a glimpse of what exactly is the mindfulness. That is the state of doing nothing. That is also a preparatory step. Eyes are closed. First, look at mentally. Mind goes to the next joint and feel the sensation. 
when you feel the sensation, what the mind says, you are comfortable. What happens when you are comfortable, you experience the steadiness. So simple. Now if the mind is constantly moving the body, what it means? The mind wants to rush outside. What is the goal? Mind has to move inside. Again, the choice is yours. So we are giving in the first step, we are giving ample opportunity for taking over the mind. Move the mind on the shoulder joints. Feel the sensation. Obviously, we all are alive, so we'll feel the sensation. Now let the mind say you're comfortable, and if the mind says you're comfortable, then the mind will not move the body. But if the mind will doesn't say or it says subconsciously and habitually, okay, who cares, what is next? So what that point shows, the mind is already running. Then you may complain to me, you know, I don't like your practice. Thank you. Look at the hip joints. Feel the sensation. So mind tells you you're comfortable. And when the mind says you're comfortable, then you experience the steadiness in the body. Move the mind on the knee joints. So you see the many subtle processes goes on. Expression and guidance is simple. Look at the knee joints, feel the sensation. Yes, mind is there, so you feel the sensation. You are conscious, you are aware of it. And that sensation, the mind confirms you are comfortable. When you are comfortable, you experience the steadiness. So what I have to do? Live into that state of the steadiness. And if you, even now if you feel that there is a discomfort, you can readjust and align the part of the body. But then what happens? Because the mind is working on you, the mind will take over you in the midst of the meditation, it will start moving, it will start complaining, not complaining others, it will complain, the body, it will complain, no, that what it shows, simple thing should show that the mind is still working on you. So can you make the body comfortable? Are you comfortable? Do you feel the sensation in the body that it is comfortable? And are you steady? This awareness of the steadiness and being comfortable is taught in the practice of the asanas. That is the real essence of the practice of the asana. Now move to the second step is the being carefree. What is the meaning of being carefree? Understanding is required. I moved inside the room and the studio here. You all are here with me. What is outside is out of sight. Same thing applies to the mind. The mind will continue to think. It will go to your honey, it will go to your home, it workplace, to your car, lot of millions of impressions, unwanted. What should I do with it? Normally this question is asked to me thousands of times. And I say, do nothing, my friend. So why? What happens when I do nothing? Then I start looking at these thoughts are coming and going. Yeah. What the scenario becomes? As if you are standing across the road, watching the traffic, moving. It is not affecting you at all. But then why these thoughts affect me? Because I consider what? The mind is working on me. Understanding is required. The mind through its habit will agitate your body, move your body and complain that no I feel you know little itching, no no I feel little here and there. It is coming from the mind. Are you aware? Do you separate all the thinking from your awareness, you are carefree. How simple it is, my friend. 
I'm always, I'm not impressing, but I'm just presenting how simple it is. The third point is, uh, so we move from the physical level by being comfortable to the mental level by being carefree and moving to your true nature by being casual. We, for, we can forget the world outside or our honey whom we love the most, but we cannot forget ourselves. But who is this? Who is this in me? Look inside the heart for a while into the space. Let the mind dive deep within you. We have to discover that you. That real you. Is the journey of all meditation and mindfulness. The first step is done. How simple it is. Now we'll move to the second step. We have to work on the mind. The mind will resist. Mind will like to react. Because this is an active step. You know, when you give something to the mind, okay, you do nothing. Well, it still becomes crazy. And you say, okay, now do something. No, I cannot do this. You see, I told you, taught me. That is why a journey is required. A regular practice brings the change. Now, look inside the chest. In the space, casually, I'm not asking you to focus and imagine something. So when you look inside the chest, then start breathing from the chest through the nostrils, playfully and gently. Inhale, expand the chest, exhale, contract the chest. Continue, my friends, do not stop in the middle. Your mind may complain a lot of things, but you are always safe in the program that I give to you. You may undergo a change in experience, you may feel something inside the head, but continue, do not stop it. Are you breathing gently and playfully through both the nostrils? Continue, please, my friend, continue. The second step is all about the purification of the mind. Continue, do not stop in the middle, continue. Continue. And stop it, one minute is done. After that, we will raise our awareness. Look at the head and the neck. Now again and experience the sensation, relaxation, and stillness. Look at the right arm, sensation, relaxation, and stillness. Look at the left arm, sensation, relaxation, and stillness. Look at the chest and the belly. Look. In this step, I'm not asking you to think. Just look. Sensation, relaxation, and stillness. Look at the right leg. Sensation, relaxation, and stillness. Look at the left leg. Sensation, relaxation, and stillness. The entire body. Yeah. Now look inside the belly. Look inside the belly button in the space and start breathing from the belly through the nostrils you inhale, the belly goes up. You exhale, the belly drops down. Little longer breath. Yes, little longer breath. You inhale, the belly goes up. You exhale, the belly drops down. You see, you have to work on the mind. We are giving the mind a definite direction. And even if the mind is not listening to you, how the mind is going to listen to you in your daily activities? That is the reason we don't live in peace and happiness 24 by 7. Your mind will resist. It will say, no, I feel too much. Okay, tell the mind, let me feel too much. I will not stop doing it. There you are ready to change your mind. Continue, my friends. Continue. Continue. 
Continue the journey of breathing into the, from the, into the belly, from the nostrils. And stop it. Let us follow another uh, small practice where I will not stress on the experience that you are having. I will stress on raising your awareness and in that field of awareness you will have an experience you are learning from your own experience i'm simply a pointer not a teacher at all head in the neck look feel sensation awareness i'm not asking you to feel i'm not you know sometimes people say oh, Oh, it may be a placebo, you are in auto-suggestion. No auto-suggestion, no hypnotism at all. You are responsible for your experiences. Right arm, look, feel, sensation, awareness. So what happens, the mind says, oh, I feel a little calm and relaxed and still. Done. Left arm, look. Feel sensation and awareness, chest and belly. I'm not saying anything except look, feel, feel what? Chest and the belly, sensation if there is any awareness. So, what happens in our daily life? First, we experience the sensation, and the mind says this sensation is pain, this sensation is pleasure and so on. So your mind will automatically understand, oh, I'm okay, I feel calm. So you see that that is the way you are learning from your, your own experiences. Right leg, look, feel, sensation and awareness. Left leg, same thing, look, feel, sensation, awareness. We are still in the second step. It has got six points, six stages, six levels. Four levels are done. Now, look inside the forehead in the space. I'll discuss in detail about these three centers. One is the center of the wisdom. The other is the center of emotion and love. The third is the center of will and action. And if they all work together, you have taken over the mind, then you work on the mind. The mind is the servant then. It listens to you. And you tell this mind, live in peace. So look inside the forehead in the space and start breathing long in the hissing breath, both from the belly and the chest. <laughs> Long hissing. Wonderful, my friends. That's really good. Continue the journey. Stop it. There is an active way to learn from your experiences. Means in terms of the sensation, the state of the mind. Start breathing deep, silent and slow. In the state of stillness in the body, there is a sensation, relaxation and stillness in the body. And you pay attention to the breath. The moment the breath starts moving in, First, expand your belly, continue the same breath, do not give a break, expand your rib case, and as you breathe out, drop the belly inside and down in the chest. You see, this is another way to work on your mind. But what is the 
secret you don't allow the mind to react against your body you don't change the position you maintain that stillness so what is happening the mind lives within when the mind lives within it gives you the sense of peace I'm just explaining you logically I don't want you to go to the hallucination or mysticism no cult no dogma no belief no religion it is a pure understanding a journey to yourself and even then if you do so continue the journey my friend deep silent and slow breathing continues Deep, silent, and slow breath. Now with the breath, we will transition into the next step. To allow the body, the breath, the brain, and the mind to gather a kind of synergy, a harmony to be established before we can go deeper into a meditative state. What is required? It is okay, my friend. If the cough and hiccup helps, just let it happen. You continue the journey. Again, I'm pointing you. What is guided meditation? The simplest understanding, you borrow my mind only during the practice and keep your mind aside now when the breath goes into the valley into the rib case and the moment the breath starts coming out start doing the humming sound looking inside the forehead mm. Louder, deeper, and longer. Continue the journey, please.
now stop this humming sound, let the breath flow normally, no movement into the body. Now the stage is set. What is that stage? It is your experience. I don't stand anywhere in your experience. You're learning from it. What is the stage? There is a experience of sensation, relaxation, and stillness. Others may experience the state of calmness. The mind is living within, not too much worried about the outer things, including the honey, the car, the home, at workplace, a lot of things. You see, that is why the mind has to go within. And it is looking at the breath to make sure the mind is living within. In that is the stage. So what is next? I have to find who am I. So let us follow this journey. The moment the breath goes in, look inside the forehead in the space and drop the sound aim. The breath returns. Take the sound aim out. Breath goes in, aim, mentally. No movement of the lips or the tongue. We bypass the body. We transcended the breath. It doesn't mean we are not aware of it. And in a very deeper, deeper within ourselves, casually we look at the breath going in. At the same time, we drop aim inside the forehead. The breath returns. We take the aim out. So what happens? It becomes a rhythmic. Breath goes in, aim, aim. Mentally. No movement of the lips or the tongue is required now. It's very important. Now we are going, coming very, very close to the meditative state. I did not say you to change the rate and the rhythm of the breath. So if you change it now and you know it and you are unable to leave the breath on its own, it simply indicates a tremendous sense of stress. It may be physical, it may be mental, it may be emotional. I will not point you out. And that's why I inspire you to be with me for a couple of sessions to know yourself. Now, everything is the same. So now the breath goes and look inside the heart in the space and drop another sound, Hreem. Breath returns, take the sound out, Hreem. So breath is the same, it is not changing the body, no changes, the stage is set, dropping hreem, hreem, the sound is hreem. You're dropping inside your heart and you're taking it out from the heart. That is the key, simple, casual. And we will see what happens. Retrain the brain and release the stress. Discover the peace. It's a specialized program. It's a journey. So when you do it regularly, you understand. You start understanding yourself. You start releasing your stress. You start experiencing the inner peace and calmness. It may happen in the first session. It may not. Why? I'm not responsible for it. You are. Now looking inside the belly button, when the breath goes in and drop the sound, clean. 
Breath returns, take the claim out. Claim, 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 claim. You are aware of the space that we have set from the previous step. That is important. I explained this, this, this transition step with an example that you have a three-story house. What you do first? First you move horizontally inside the home. Then you can go into the basement or you can go up into the floor. Same thing happens. We have to move the mind within first, horizontally, and then we can rise up. And when we rise, we awaken. When we awaken, we, move, we are in meditation. How simple it is. Practice alone is not the end of the journey. When you share your experiences after the conclusion, it helps you and also it helps everyone. Neither be scared nor be upset of sharing the experiences. Anyhow, choice is yours. The more you experience, share, it helps you to progress. I'll give a brief interpretation of your experiences, challenges. Do nothing now. Now is the time to do nothing. Means what? In that state of doing nothing, you learn from your experience. Your experience of the physical level, your experience of the energy level, your experience of your own mind. Further deep down, one day we awaken to our true nature. Om Shanti 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 This recitation in the end has been a tradition for the last 6,000 years. They discovered when you are into a deeper meditative state and you hear this recitation, it helps you to deepen your experience. There are many other reasons that we'll talk in the following session. Om Shanti 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 Bring your mind to the right hand, your mind to the left hand. Lift your both the palms, place it on your eyes, open the eyes inside the palms. When you open the eyes inside the palms, now is the time to ask your mind, what is happening? What happened? Nothing happened? Share it. Bring the hands down, sit up, and let us share our experiences, my friends, one after the other, briefly. How are you, my friend? I could see you smiling. <laughs> I told you. We create a fuss. No, I have to sit and do the meditation. So yesterday when I was lying down, I had the like, half the time I was okay, but after that I had a like pain in the back. Wow, right now, see. 
This is what I have been saying that the mind works on us. It doesn't allow you to lie down for a long period. It doesn't allow you to sit. No, I have a disc problem. Simple solution. Keep lying down. Put some cushion around it. After all, you sleep for hours together. We are only doing for 40 minutes. Look at it. That is why we share the experiences. But overall, you feel peace. Yes. Good. How are you, my friend? Good. Good? Okay. How are you, my friend? Peaceful. Peaceful? Mm -hmm. Really? Okay. That's good. Okay. Even if you don't think, you can be in peace. <laughs> you see that? How are you? First half, I was heavy. Yeah. I, I, felt, I, I was very aware of my body being sick. Yeah. And then going past the office, I felt I felt nothing. 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 Yeah. Nothing. That's that's a deeper experience. Wonderful. How are you? <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm I'm happy, and it's. Um, I'm present, yeah. right? And it's um, like really, really present. Really right? present. Like really, really present. And then, you know, what, what Eileen said as far as the nothingness, yeah. uh, but you're present. And not even in the nothingness, you're present. You're just that. I, you know, like I'm watching, uh, I didn't even feel like I had my hands like this, and, and my, my body felt like it was like a solid piece of. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. Your experience remind me of a verse. Aham nirvikalpo nirag. That verse says that the mind stops identifying anything outside with reference to the people, place, or objects in the time. And it becomes challenging for the mind to explain what exactly is the nothingness. And that is obviously a deeper state. Wonderful. How are you, my friend? Relaxed. Relaxed, calm? Yes. Give the same to our friend at your home. <laughs> <laughs> now his wife has been coming regularly, but now she is busy. So how are you? Just relaxed. Good, relaxed? Yeah, relaxed. How are you, my friend? Mindful. Ma wonderful. Yes. We will also, in the following session, we will understand what exactly is the mindful according to the teachings of the te Master. What happens that if you make Google as your teacher, then it is difficult to understand what is mindfulness. I tell you, yeah, just stop this uh, speaker, my friend. So how are you? Good, thank you. So, now we'll understand. Mindiness was the French word and the mindfulness was the old English word. And how it changed during the last 150 years, its meaning and essence. We'll understand that, and based on that, we'll do the practice. How are you, my friend? Relax. Relax? Don't you think relaxation is much better than anything else in the life? <laughs> you have changed. You're changing. I could see in a couple of sessions. How are you, my friend? You did not try. You decided to be here in the class. <laughs> that's <laughs> and that's, I c that's how I can see you laughing. <laughs> Have you tried? Confusion. My master used to say, the moment you mind unconsciously uses the word, let me try, the mind is already in confusion. And the mind is working on you. Now, I just want to just contemplate. Whenever you use the word try, and then go back and think. I will try to give you meditation, but I will not give you. <laughs> See the point. But I decided to do it. I will do it. You have made a right decision for yourself. How are you? <laughs> I had a problem putting my mind aside at first. OK. Um, you got there. And I feel very relaxed. Very relaxed. Yes. Two things. Understand. First is the peace and the happiness are our essential nature. It is already within us. So when you are mindful, then you awaken to that state. 
but it takes time to be mindful in the journey as you continue the practice from the very first step you will remain mindful result will be tremendous so when you told me that it came much later it is all because of the impurities of the mind that we have that is why we are not able to keep the mind aside how are you my friend good Okay, hey, very good. How are you? I'm very good. Um, I felt so nervous when you said the beginning that like you felt like that was what you did. Well, I missed you in many classes. That's why mine was resisting. Yeah. <laughs> 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 no, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> Try this view. Why should I impose on you? How are you? Very good. Very good. <laughs> so today's simple summary, go back and think. How many times during the day the mind works on you and you work on the mind and that will take you to a deeper state of meditation. One example, only one more example I can give you. You go home and you look at your honey and you don't go along with it. No, this is just uh, hypothetical. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> always hypothetical. You know, I, I always talk light. So consider that. So now what happens the moment you look at the honey, the mind projects about your honey. Uh, he, he, will, uh, he or she will not listen to you. you know, he is like this. He is like, drop this. That is the mind working on you. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>